चॉय फिलिंग आयुष ट्वेंटी फोर काउंसिलिंग चॉइस फिलिंग आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म एंड डिपॉजिटिंग सिक्योरिटी फी कैंडिडेट विल हैव टू फिल देयर चॉइसिस इन प्रिफरेंस फॉर्म सो प्रिफरेंस फॉर्म विल बी गिवन बाय देन योर लिस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट ऑफ एटलीस्ट टॉप फाइव कॉलेज शुड बी रेडी सो दैट यू कैन अप्लाई अकॉर्डिंगली एंड द सीट इज अलॉटेड बेस्ड ऑन योर मेरिट एंड हाउ मच मार्क्स यू गॉट इन नीट एग्जामिनेशन हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू ऑल डूइंग वेलकम टू पी डब्ल्यू इंग्लिश एम चाइत्रा योर बॉटनी टीचर इन टू डे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट बी एम एस राइट दिस इज एन आयुर्वेदिक कोर्स एंड मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट हु फॉर सम रीजन आर नॉट एबल टू गेट इन टू एम बी बी एस कैन ऑलवेज लुक आउट फॉर बी एम एस एंड येस इट इज करेंटली a hot course that is selling and if let let us say you do bams you will still be called as a doctor but the practice that you would be doing would be along the indian ayurvedic uh, or rather i would say ayurvedic studies so that is a line that you would be following because of which this practice is seen in certain parts of the world like india i could say nepal sri lanka and might not be accepted elsewhere so this is also something that you should be aware of so let us see how can you get into a bms course uh first thing that you would need is naturally your um neat marks so once your neat marks are announced so you should be a candidate who has qualified neat examination you can see here so the ayush counseling dates for 2024 will be released post your neat result declaration okay and once it is done the counseling for the ayush seats is done by if i were to highlight here ayush admission central counseling committee aaccc and they will release the counseling date along with an official brochure so you will have to visit their website you can just type aa ccc in the google and the website will pop up you can visit right now if you visit you will find all the information of 2023 nothing of 2024 because they are yet to release their counseling dates and the brochure and um, next thing that you have to remember is under neat 2024 ayush counseling ayurveda yunani siddha and homeopathy are the branches that you can opt for uh, as far as my knowledge goes and my understanding goes from various sources students uh, usually opt for ayurveda seats more often candidates must note that aaccc conducts ayush counseling 2024 uh, for allotment of 15% all india quota seats okay for all india quota seats 15% are under aaccc and they will be doing the counseling for that 15% the rest of the 85% like i would say state wise is given uh, to the state so the state will uh, allot the seat for those particular 85% of seat okay next <coughs> three rounds of counseling will be there for ayush counseling 2024 admission to bams bhms bums like i said and bsms courses mop up round will also be conducted i think once the counseling dates are released and you will come to know of the timely updates and right now let us look at the very basic and from the very first step how many seats are they allotting under the 15% of all india quota 52720 seats are allotted um, which is divided between ayurveda yunani siddha and homeopathy okay i hope this is clear let go to this what is the eligibility criteria you should have qualified neat examination naturally you should be at least 17 years old um as on december 21 2024 um you should have naturally passed class 12th or equivalent from a recognized board with physics chemistry biology and english as core subjects all right once you are into bams you are also taught the basics of sanskrita because their uh, ayurvedic learnings follow the line of sanskrita as a language so that also you will be taught irrespective of if you have studied it in your lower classes or not so ayush counseling 2024 application form how do you apply so to apply for the counseling of ayush ug courses the candidates need to first register themselves on the official website of aaccc once your neat results are announced 
and a registration is released on AACCC website, you can do your registration process there. By now, you should have got a hang of the registration process because I'm sure you've registered, registered for so many examinations. Right. So you will be asked to give your necessary information like your name, date of birth, your mobile number, email ID and the neat roll number of course you can see here. And after completing the registration, uh, they will have to log in using the NEET 2024 roll number and the new password and complete the application form. Once you've submitted, your registration is done. But of course, you will have to pay a certain amount. The amount also will be prompted on the website. So you will have to pay that amount. You can use your credit card, debit card, UPI, whatever. Uh, yes. More power to Digital India and... Let us see the counselling fee. Like I said, um, those who belong to general category need to pay a um, registration amount of 1000 and which is non-refundable, my dear students. Okay. Then for SCST, certain reserve categories, the fees is around 500 and for NRI, not natural, the fees is going to be much higher, around I suppose 5000 rupees or so. And <clears throat> you can see here, the neat result date we have put it as 14th june i am not sure of this okay so please don't take this seriously i'm not sure of this but yeah looks like 14th june is going to be the um, neat result date ish ug courses are bams bhms bnys bums bsms like i said yunani siddha homeopathy ayurveda all of this comes under it and the total seats which get divided among these branches is 52720 seats uh, how many colleges you can look at the information i don't think it is going to help us much because you would be rather interested in the top 10 or top 15 colleges right all over india counseling authority like i said aaccc so this is the official counselling authority and I've also put the website here, aaccc.gov.in. This is a website that you will have to visit where once the registration link is released, you can do your registration process and then you can wait for the counselling process. Let us, yes, do this part. So choice filling. Uh, Ayush 2024 counselling choice filling. After completing the application form and depositing the security fee, candidates will have to fill their choices in preference form. So, a preference form will be given. By then, your list of uh, list of at least top five colleges should be ready so that you can apply accordingly. And the seat is allotted based on your merit and how much marks you've got in NEET examination. Right. Um, there is no limit on the number of choices that a candidate can fill in the preference form. However, candidates are advised to go through the fee structure of the college and the curriculum of the course that they intend to apply for. The curriculum is like if I take Ayurveda, uh, which is most popular among all of this, you will see that the curriculum doesn't vary much. But of course, fees would become the deciding factor and the infrastructure provided with it. Because if you are opting for a hostel or a mess, and the infrastructure within the campus in the sense in terms of learning choices that should also be good when you're paying paying fees right yes no filling the choices will lead to disqualification of the said candidate from the ayush counseling process also candidates must lock the choices that they have filled before the last date to ensure that they have filled the correct options please make a note of this seat allotment and joining let us have a look at this uh, AACCC will prepare the seat allotment list for various courses based on the choices filled by the candidates and their ranks in NEET 2024. So based on this, your seat allotment will be uh, done. Like I said, it is merit based. Selected candidates will again have to choose whether they want to continue with the allotted seat or not. For this, again, you will have to log into your registered account. This is somewhat similar to how your NEET counseling goes. Um, not much different from it what are the requirements that you would need at the time of joining i think this is also something which will be prompted to you you need not worry about it but as a general information i've put it across passport size photos eight in number preferably same as the one pasted on the application form preferably same uh, you cannot take a photo of your eighth standard face and then you know don't do that get a pick click or if you have copies of what you've pasted in your application, you can do that also. 
birth certificate or your high school certificate as proof of date of birth, your class 10th mark sheet, your class 12th mark sheet, a valid photo ID proof that is Aadhaar card, PAN, driving license, passport. I think Aadhaar card is something which most of you would have, right? A uh, provisional allotment letter downloaded from the official website of NTA NEET, SCST certificate if applicable, OBC certificate if you have applicable, disability certificate if needed, certificate stating that the candidate has studied Tamil up to class 10th, certificate stating that the candidate has studied Urdu, Arabic or Persian up to class 10th. This is for BUMS candidates only. And Tamil is for BSMS candidates only. For Ayurveda, you would not need any such um, certification. Correct? So, this is how or this is what the documents that would be needed. Now, we come to the question of what are these top uh, colleges that you should aim for uh, in All India level. So, these are few of the colleges that you can look for. National Institute of Ayurveda, NIA, uh, Jaipur, Banaras Hindu University, Varnasi, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar, Gujarat, quite reputed, I mean, all of these are reputed, Tibia College of Delhi, um, so what I have mentioned is they have internal quota in PG, All India Institute of Ayurveda, so basically what is internal quota in PG is if you have studied UG courses in a particular college, then when you do your PG, they might be, let us say, a 50% seat allotment for their own student. This is what it means. Okay. Uh, CBPACS, this is best for clinical exposure in the sense patient inflow is good. So, your practice, the more you practice, the better you become. Okay. With that funda, we've gone with this. Uh, MMM government, Ayurvedic Mahavidyale. Um, in Udaipur, Dr. Sarvepalli RR Ayurved Institute, uh, sorry, University in Jodhpur. R.A. Podar, uh, uh, Ayurveda University, Mumbai, Government Ayurveda College in Bangalore and Government Ayurveda College in Lucknow. So, these are few of the colleges that you can aim for. Uh, the popular ones fall under or I would say are these. Okay. So, you can pay attention. You can take a screenshot. I'm getting out of the screen. So, this can help you. Um, yes. Let us go to the next part of the information and that is what is the fees so i would say the government colleges have a fees tuition fees i'm talking about of about 25000 it can vary up to 40000 per year i'm talking about tuition fees on about uh, on that on top of that you might have a little more expenses on your mess or hostel and yeah that can add up to the expenses of course your books and other things so something to look for and I've put a kind of a rough uh, <coughs> curriculum list. I am not sure if this uh, is something that you should go with because uh, if you are a candidate who is interested in studying uh, BMS or Ayush courses, this should not make much of a difference because they will teach you everything that is relevant for you to become a doctor, BMS, right? Uh, right, in the first professional year, so one and a half year it runs to, you have uh, anatomy, like I said, Samskrita and Samhita, so Rachana Sharira, Kriya Sharira, Physiology, Padartha Vijnana, Ayurvedic Philosophy, History of Ayurveda, all of this will go in the first year. The second year you can see uh, Roga Nidan, um, Rasa Shastra, so you can go through all of these. This is just to give you a kind of a taste of what are the subjects and this is also a one and a half year course. So, all together if you see, um, the course is like every year is one and a half uh, year of course. Okay. And this is the third year and the fourth professional year list of subjects. Like I said, if you want, you can go through this or if you don't want, you can skip it because if you're determined to become a doctor under uh, Ayurveda or Yunani or Siddha or Homeopathy, then why not why should you need the subject you will be taught everything that is going to help you become a good doctor but then it depends on you what you study no matter which college you go to if you decide to have fun and not study naturally it is not going to be fruitful but if you decide to study irrespective of the college you are in then you will naturally emerge as a better doctor than the one who has had fun in a top reputed college 
so your attitude is everything um also applies to our life and having said that i hope this information has helped uh one more insight i would want to give many students have this kind of a doubt can you shift from ayurveda ug courses to you know english uh, pg courses uh then i would like to tell you the options are not wide uh, gynecology and pediatrics are two which i came across where you can shift but then again i am not um, sure of the students who have shifted from ug bams to these uh, pg courses i don't know how the shift is i don't know how good the shift is i don't want to give you any misinformation um but if you want information on this you can let me know so that i can make a separate video on this but yes there are options and how fruitful they are how good they are i am not sure of that the ground reality is naturally something very different so the information that i gave you is pretty much true for all the candidates aiming to get into the ayush courses but then now what i'm speaking shifting from ug to pg like i said gynecology or pediatrics how good it is how difficult it is how fruitful it is how much uh, job opportunity it creates i am not sure of that right now like i said if you want information on this i will surely do my best to get and compile the data and as correct as possible in front of you you can let me know in the comment section other than that if you have any doubts on this you can let me know uh, as well and again many of the students ask ma'am what could be the salary of a doctor who has done bms it can go as high as 1.5 lakh per month it can be as low as 40000 per month but let us hope for the best and let us aim at 1.5 lakh per month um because at the end of the day we all study to have a good life and to have a good career so having said that all the best for your counseling any more information on anything you need regarding ayush courses do let us know so that we can resolve it thank you